Crust Your Glitter podcast. This is Christy and I am here to talk about the astrology of the week and this is highlighting the 12th of November through November 19th. I'm specifically going to focus on this week's new moon in the sign of Scorpio which is going to be a pretty intense energy. We're already in the intensity of it now. I'm recording this on Sunday, November 12th. I just wanted to feel out this energy and get my recording as close to this new moon as possible. So the new moon is at 427 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is at 20 degrees of Scorpio. And in this area. We have an influence throughout the week. So I'm going to approach this podcast today not the way I generally break down transits because we have things going for us and also things that we really have to highlight. So I'm really just going to look at the alignment of the new moon and then point out some aspects that are going to keep us consistently in self-reflection, introspection, amongst the chaos. And that's the best way I can translate it. So we are in an evolutionary new moon cycle. It's not an eclipse, but the new moon is very much related to kind of pointing us towards whether it's rising from the ashes, if you want to look at it from a very textbook scorpionic perspective, Something where in our lives a new moon is forming a start, a new beginning through maybe paying an homage, maybe honoring, or even looking at our past as, you know, the house that built us. And I'm looking at this from the perspective of this new moon at 20 degrees Scorpio is in alignment with Mars, who for this new moon is at 22 degrees Scorpio. But throughout the week, we have the influence of this Kazemi. So Kazemi is when the sun is conjunct a planet. So that's a, a direct alignment. And with this particular new moon, so the solar energy, the lunar energy are aligned in Scorpio and Mars is here. We did have Mercury enter the sign of Sagittarius last week, which gives us a lot more movement when it comes to conversations, our mind, the truth of things coming out in a verbal way. So you could get that email, you can get that gossip, you could get that big, I like to call it that eight of wands energy, where you get the news and it's like, okay, this is the thing I needed to hear. And this is the healing that 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 is around it. Sometimes, like for example, if you have a relationship that is breaking down, sometimes you just need that email of truth. Sometimes you just need that moment of like, okay, this is our come to Jesus. And I do think that the last two weeks, this week, next week, and with the eclipse cycles, we've had a lot of awakening moments in our life. And this this particular new moon is opposing the sign of Uranus, who is retrograde at 21 degrees Taurus. Now, because Uranus is an outer planet in retrograde, I view this symbolically as a lot of times when we're looking at big T and little t trauma in our lives, we can't control the things that happen to us from the outside. But with the Scorpio energy, what we can acknowledge is the inner work that continues to be our experience here on planet Earth. So I want to acknowledge that this week is not going to be an easy week for many people. However, it could also be translated with this opposition to the planet of chaos, disruption, and sudden epiphanies. Because this is like psychic downloads times Uranus is the internet. Uranus is, yes, chaos, but it's like the good shaking up and then it's also those big 
energies that we can't control. So it's like, you know, big events in the world can happen with Uranian transits like this. So we've been, we've been seeing it in the news. But I also want to look at, you know, this energy also with the new moon energy and Mars trines Neptune in the sign of Pisces. And Neptune's an outer planet in retrograde as well. So this is very positive. This is, this is like telling us, yes, there's a lot of chaos, magical chaos in the sky, but please keep faith in yourself. Please keep faith in your journey. Please keep faith in who you are. I also love that Venus is in a very beautiful sextile that means like a friendship alignment to mercury and sagittarius so our heart and our mind really want to give us direction and with venus in her home sign of libra this is direction related to our desires and allowing us to speak our desires and this is a new moon we are allowed to speak our desires it's um a friend of mine posted a meme you can't always get what you want related to the universe singing to us and but this is a get what you need aspect as well so maybe what we need right now is very personal to us maybe with all the scorpio energy it's just further therapy journey you know that inner work journey taking time journaling prompts and i'll I'll ask a journaling prompt in this episode as well but it is it's not easy It's not an easy time. And so to focus on aspect after aspect wouldn't be easy. And I also want to acknowledge that Mercury is square to Lilith and Lilith is in Virgo. So the divine feminine aspect through Venus in a great position with Mercury and the divine feminine, kind of that wild feminine, is also at odds because she's going to have to play nice. Lilith doesn't want to play nice in Virgo. So I find it very symbolic as well because there is this rising out of maybe a past time in your life where you were the victim and it's allowing yourself to see a new vantage point, allowing yourself to bring words to that. A lot of times when things happen to us, you know, we didn't we didn't have the words for it back then and now we do in the present so i really like this new moon as a new take on an old pattern and with that i'm also going to say it's not a sextile but there's an influence between this cap pluto and capricorn and this new moon I would not call it a sextile, but I think there is an influence, a supportive influence, and we're going to see this influence later on. So I want to say that transformation in our life is all this new moon cycle is about redirection, reforming. But this has been a theme that's been ongoing throughout this year. This has been a cycle for us. So if I really want to look at a reflection question for this new moon, and a new moon is when we write down our goals, what we want to bring forward into the world, and what we want to actually manifest in our lives, and what the steps are to take to get to these manifestations. If we want to buy a house, if we want to have kids, if we if we want to you know, change our career, if we want to build a business, if we want to establish better relationships these are all the steps that this new moon is is pointing us towards and because this new moon is in scorpio energy we're gonna have to give it time to go through its cycle of of death cycle right now we're still in scorpio season and while we're still in scorpio season it can feel like hell it can feel like wow how am i still in this dark corner over here But the reality is there is light again and we'll be seeing this energy again. We'll be seeing the higher form of this energy again. We'll be seeing ourselves on the other side of the tunnel through this new moon. 
So I just want to acknowledge that this week I really am looking at the transits and I am looking at the aspects and this is the energy that's going to bring us throughout the week. And so the reflection question is really just to make a list of these goals and also a list of what you've overcome to get to these goals or what you've overcome at this point in your life to even be here in the present. Because while chaos ensues in our lives, we have the present. We have ourselves. We can put you know, ourselves with our feet on the ground or just our heart intentions towards grounding and know that this is all part of the process. So I want to say thank you so much for listening to Trust Your Glitter. It is a shorter podcast this week, but it is short and powerful energy on the way. So yes, this is a new moon. And yes, it's very, very poignant for us all in our growth cycles. Thank you for listening to Trust Your Glitter podcast. I really enjoy your listens, downloads, likes, watches. They really help the podcast channel grow and I really appreciate it so much. Just to let you know for the rest of 2023, I am doing 10% off all readings on my link tree. That is link tree slash trust your glitter. And if you write in the subject line glitter, that is automatically 10% off all readings for the rest of 2023. Also, if you would like a reading for your pet, I am doing a little project as well. So just let me know in the comments, anywhere I post on social media, that you would like a tarot card reading for your pet. That is right, a tarot card reading for your pet. And that can be on this side or crossed over the rainbow bridge. All I really request is if you could send me a picture of your pet and their name, that will really help, but it's not required. So if you would like a tarot card reading for your pet, just let me know. And I will do all of these readings on Trust Your Glitter podcast. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope you have an amazing week ahead.